Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope, and for today's video, I am doing something completely different than what I normally do. As you can tell, I filmed this when it was absolutely beautiful outside compared to the chillier weather that we were getting, and we're getting currently. It was like the one nice day that we had, which was completely random. Anyway, my husband and I decided to build an outdoor patio bench. I went on Pinterest to look up some inspiration photos and then we kind of just did our own thing from there. So what I did first was I called a local lumber store um, around our area and I bought 10 2x4 by 12 feet salt treated wood. I bought 10 just in case we had mistakes but if you do this perfectly with the same exact measurements that we're using you only need 6. So the measurements that I'm measuring out right now are 9 2x4x6 by pieces, 5 2x4x1.5 by feet pieces, 4 2x4x2 two by two feet pieces, and then 2 2x4x1.7 two by like feet pieces. And I'll put all that down in the description box too in case you guys want to copy this bench that we're creating. So for this first part all you need is a... Um, Oh my goodness, I can't think of it. A tape measure. All you need is a tape measure and some type of writing utensil. I'm just using a pen and I'm just marking out where I want the pieces. I will say this too, when you get the 12 foot pieces, sometimes they're not exactly 12 feet long. And so I ended up just marking them down the middle, which was like six feet and like maybe half an inch. And it still worked out perfectly. So um, that way you don't have to cut two parts on a piece of wood you can just cut it down the middle which is what we're doing right now so for this next part my husband came out and he's gonna help me finish the rest of the bench we're using a sawzall and this is what we're gonna use to cut the prettiest little girl <laughs> so, are you watching mom and dad oh my goodness <laughs> do you want to go inside <laughs> Stella oh so pretty for this next part all you need is the wood that you cut a drill and then three inch deck screws you're gonna go ahead and grab two of the six foot long boards to use as the front and the back of the bench and then the five one and a half foot boards to use as the biters between those two. We went ahead and drilled in the two end pieces first to make sure that our shape stayed rectangular and it also made it easier to drill in the center three boards. I ended up running and grabbing another drill that way he could do one side while I did the other and it ended up just making time go by a little bit faster especially later in the video when it just came in handy to have two drills so if you're lucky like that then that's awesome if not it just adds a few more minutes to it and after this we went ahead and moved on to the next step oh and a quick tip he told me my husband told me that it's best to always screw in the top screw before you screw in the bottom screw and it really did make it a little bit easier so he went ahead and did his side I did my side and then after this part's finished we'll show you the next
so for this next part we went ahead and drilled in the legs this is where those two foot boards come into play we wanted ours to sit right in the middle so we made a line on the two foot boards and then right in the center and then we went ahead and drilled the seat into that that way the same amount that's above the chair is below the chair if that makes sense so depending on how high or low you want your bench to sit you'll adjust that for your leg and you can make these boards longer too you would just need more wood so we did this for all four and after this we're going to go ahead and finish up with the last two steps To the easiest step in my opinion we're going to take five of the six foot long boards and start drilling them in for the seat we went ahead and started with the end pieces first and then took the remaining three and centered them in the middle of the seat um, it's just easier I think doing it that way to make sure that it's all even between all of them I will say this too, you want to make sure there's a little bit of a gap between each board. It doesn't have to be big, just enough that if it like rains or anything like that, that the water can slip through the cracks and not be sitting on top of that wood. Even though these are salt treated boards, just, uh, just another precaution to take. And like I said, this part was super easy. Um, once we got all the boards into place, I was able to help drill too, which cut back time even more, which was nice because it was starting to get really hot outside by this point. So after this we only have a couple more steps left and then we're almost done. already added the armrest for that part we went ahead and used the boards that were about 1.7 feet long we wanted them to hang off a little bit from the legs if you want them more uniform with the legs then you'd want to cut these boards a little bit shorter or you can cut them longer if you want them to hang off even more after that the last step is just adding the last two six foot boards to the back so the top one matches up with the back of the legs with the top of the back of the legs and so the armrest is a little bit above that and then for the middle board, we just centered that between the top and the bottom board. And this was the last step, guys. After this, we're finished. Because this is salt treated wood, we have to wait. I think they set up to six months to stain it. I'm going to try to stain it in a few months, hopefully in time for summer. That way, it looks prettier on our patio. And yeah, guys, I hope you liked the finished project product. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Let us know down in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. I know we plan on building a few more things for the backyard, and I hope to do a video in the future showing you guys what our patio looks like. So once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.